Delhi's air quality remained in the very poor category at the beginning of this week on Monday, November the 3rd, with readings above 300. This has brought forth an increased number of people with respiratory complaints and some pulmonologists have also advised people to leave Delhi for the next few weeks. But it is the children and the young ones that have to pay a heavy price. Before we delve deeper into the consequences of breathing polluted air, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel Down to Earth. Air pollution's effects have detrimental consequences on children. After malnutrition, air pollution is the biggest risk factor for death in children under the age of 5, according to the State of Global Air Report 2024. Younger children, especially newborns, are at risk for illness and mortality due to the detrimental effects of air pollution on numerous bodily systems. Pregnant women who are exposed to contaminated air are at a higher risk of premature birth and their children could also have a low birth weight. In addition to causing asthma and childhood cancer, air pollution has a detrimental impact on neurodevelopment and cognitive function. Children who have grown up with high levels of air pollution exposure may be more susceptible to long-term conditions like heart disease. According to UNICEF, 35% of children in India are stunted under the age of 5. And the country also bears the egomeny of having the highest number of stunted children in the world, which is 40.6 million children. This is attributed mainly to malnutrition, but according to a research paper titled Air Pollution and Child Development in India, published in the Journal of Environmental Economics and Management, an increase in the average concentration of fine particulate matter by one standard deviation is accountable for almost 5% points of stunting and 2.4% of severe stunting rates. The annual arrival of winter is welcomed by a smog of unbreathable air with fine particulate matter that causes problems from respiratory illness to dementia. The Global South bears the lopsided burden of carrying the global disease burden linked to air pollution, with India and China bearing 54% of the total share. Efforts have been made from the government, but the air is still unbreathable. Air pollution should be treated as a severe public health crisis that can only be managed through policies backed by science and enforced strictly by the government. Otherwise, it will be the young who pay the price. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write to us by commenting on the video.